Good evening, I'm Rick Kwan. And I'm Marissa Yamani, and for Mika Miyashima. A life gone way too soon. There's an outpouring of support for the family of Cyrus Chrysostomo. He's a 14-year-old boy who died while riding his e-bike in Waipahu over the weekend. KITV4's Jeremy Lee spent some time with his family today and joins us now with more. Jeremy. Marissa and Rick, the home of Sonny and Danica Chrysostomo has been receiving a steady stream of guests throughout the last several days, those coming to bid farewell to their son Cyrus, who passed away after the fatal accident on Waipahu Road Sunday. We love you, Cyrus. 19-year-old Sidon Chrysostomo gathered with friends near the corner of Waipahu Road in Peke Lane to remember the life of his younger brother and the connection they shared. He always wanted to be like me, and everything that I had, he wanted to do better. He liked cars because I liked cars. He always wanted to follow everything that I did, always asked me advice on school with his girlfriend, and just in general, like if he always needed help, I'd be there to talk to him. But it's hard. The close connection and loss is shared by the youngest brother, Cyprus. A year apart, the two even played on the same basketball team. Something that we always used to do ever since we got our bikes, me and him would ride together, go anywhere that he wanted to go, go anywhere that I wanted to go. Sometimes we would stop by the store, grab some food, eat. That was one of his best things to do was eat. <laughs> Friends arrived to leave snacks, sweets, and soda, along with the flowers lining the makeshift memorial on Waipahu Road. Back at the family home, neighbors, coaches, and school kids continued to gather in the memory of Cyrus, helping the parents cope with the past few days of grieving. Telling about good memories about Cyrus, and we're just having good vibes just talking about him, and it just really brings us all together as a family and friends as well. He was a typical kid, you know, his friends were always here. He was always out playing sports, riding his bike. I didn't imagine how much hearts he touched around the community until the last couple of days. This boy touched so many hearts. This boy has the biggest heart, the biggest smile. You know, nothing was negative about him. How will the Waipahu Intermediate 8th grader be remembered? I want him to be remembered by his smile. Everyone who knows him, that's what they'll remember, is his smile and his little dimple under his eye when he did smile. He had it all. At his age, 14, with that much love, I would figure adults would be like that. But it's coming from a 14-year-old kid with a heart of an adult. The father told me that beyond grieving, he and others are working to spread the aloha that was the life of Cyrus Chrysostomo. The family is planning a candlelight memorial at the nearby El Elementary School for late afternoon Friday. There is a GoFundMe to assist with memorial costs. Reporting live, Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News tonight.